We spoke to AP's global sports correspondent Rob Harris, who was part of that virtual press conference with Ronaldo and Wenger. We are hearing considerable opposition from across the game. We're hearing it from the World Leagues Forum, who represent the major competitions, whether the Premier League, La Liga, MLS, the Japanese League. They believe this would seriously impact world football, uh, placing a tournament effectively every year. Leagues don't want their own competitions disrupted for so long in October, November as well. And now we're hearing the UEFA president, Alexander Sheffrin, who's been firmly against these plans for biennial World Cups, saying that actually Europe would boycott the World Cup if necessary, potentially, along with South America, if FIFA did force through these plans. And the way FIFA is set up with the FIFA Congress of all 211 FAs means that actually these plans could well go through. The fact is, most of the countries in world football do not currently play at the World Cup. So it's in their interest, perhaps, to try to increase their chances if the World Cup's being played more often. Above all, the questions will be, does a World Cup every two years diminish the status of the competition? Is it the fact it's more infrequent every four years, like the prospect of winning an Olympic medal is every four years? Is that what makes it so special? Is that what drives the commercial revenue, the broadcast revenue, the rarity? And perhaps that's why also fan groups are speaking out against these plans, that actually they recognise the prestige, the value of a World Cup being every four years, as well as the, the, the cost as well. If you've got more World Cups, it costs more for fans. And if you're putting all the games together in the later half of the year, in October, November, it's a big chunk of time for fans to have to travel rather than the games being spread out over the year. Also for players as well, players have multiple opportunities through the year to break into the international squad with different international breaks. Suddenly, if there's only two chunks of fixtures in a year, well, it could be harder for a player to get their chance to call up uh, and, and be selected for their national team.